Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I have a couple of projects to share with you guys uh, for our Scrap Diva designs uh, from my design team package. Um, so I've been playing around with um, some of the other dies that I uh, received in my um, design team package and I wanted to share them with you. So <clears throat> let's just go ahead and jump right in. So when I saw this die, I nearly passed out <laughs> when I watched her video. So uh, I couldn't wait to put it together. So, oh my gosh. This toaster is just like the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Not just mine. I'm just saying the toaster in general. Just so cute. I have seen the cutest projects being made over on Instagram. Um, it, I mean, it's just adorable. So... Let's talk about what I did. Um, so this paper right here is um, called Gingham. Um, and I can't think of the, who makes it, but the name of it is Gingham. Um, I think I purchased it from Frank Garcia Studio. Um, and I do believe it's still available, but just so pretty. So what you'll see in this die is I use the uh, toaster um, from Erica. Uh, and then also this is the one of the wavy banner um, tags that she has. Um, it's a set of three, so that is still available as well. And then I used my Cricut to create these super cute little waffles. Um, and like it was toasting the waffles. I just thought that was a cute idea. Um, hers does, you can get it with a toast and egg, which I'll show you uh, what that looks like. I have two projects today. So, um, for the toaster, but that is also cute, but I thought I'd switch it up, uh, and do some waffles. Um, so I did put this up on some, um, foam tape and then I did make this cute little syrup bottle um, that was also in Cricut um, and put that on the front of the toaster of course I use this um, pretty pink um, paper that's for collections as the base um, it does have little pieces that you can cover up but I actually like the pink little handles on there so I didn't cover that up um, but you could change the color of these if you want to with the, the little pieces that come for that um, and then I put the other little waffle there uh, in the toaster like it was popping up. Added these cute little bows with some gems. And um, then I just added that little cute little um, uh, pennant back here that says uh, waffle. So I just thought that was really fun and super cute. Um, it's pretty big. I don't know what I'll put it on, but definitely maybe I could put it on a box or a bag or something. Um, but super duper cute. I am loving this die. So that's the first one that I created. And then here's, that's not the first one. That's the second one. This is the first one that I created. I mean, stop. <laughs> Those little pieces of toast are just like everything. I love that. Um, so um, I used some doodle bug for this one. Um, and for, I use that for the bow and for the base piece. Um, I love that little flowery look. Um, and then I did my base this time with a blue color to kind of match the flowers in here. Um, I've also used, um, Erica strawberry shakers, uh, <clears throat> which those are still available. And then these are, uh, the words that, um, she created when she came out with the, the strawberry dyes that she has in her store. And I believe these are also still available. So, <clears throat> um, I use my Cricut to cut out this super cute, uh, face to put on the front of there. And then I just created a little bow with one of my own dies. And then I added um, red glitter cardstock on top of the toast. So that looks like strawberry jam. And then I also used some glitter cardstock for the strawberry over there. But just so fun. There's just endless uh, ideas of how you can play around with this die. Like I said, I've seen so many different takes on this. All so cute, but all very different. So... I am loving this. And this measures, by the way, let's see, from end to end, it's about five inches, maybe a little bit longer. So it is a it is a larger die. You could make a box out of it. Um, so many different options, but 
just absolutely love this. It's so super fun and cute. So that's the, the next one. And then I did one more of the dies. Um, I did the flower pot um, gift card die. You guys, dying. Okay, so I'm gonna make a couple of these because it's perfect for a gift card. That's, it's, that's what it's intended for. You don't have to use it for that, but you can definitely uh, use it as a gift card holder. What a cute way. Now the die does come with some flowers, which I'll uh, show you guys an example of that as well but I just couldn't help it. I wanted to make this uh, sunflower uh, for the top of mine for this one. And I use this really pretty sunflower paper. Um, I can't think of the name of it. Um, it's a photo play paper. I can't remember the name, but uh, I'll leave it in the description box below. But how super fun is that? And then that's just how the back looks. And then um, I'm just loving the look of this. So fun. And then you just slide it out and then you can put a card. Now this does look like it's really low, but it's not glued right here. So I would still be able to fit a gift card in there if I wanted to. And that's just how the flower pot looks. This is adorable. I can't, I can't. What a fun die for her to have uh, created. I love this. And I found this cute sunflower on Etsy. Um, I did, I purchased the SVG and then I just cut it out on my Cricut. But how fun is that? Loving, loving, loving these dies. So don't forget, you can use my coupon code, which is NAT10. Um, if you are interested in purchasing anything, don't forget to follow me on Sassy Blingy Me 31 and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And the information for the dies I used today will be in the description box below. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.